Hi guys, Tara from Reiki Essentials and Wellness. We are located at 2 South Medicine Street in Rapan, and today is February 17th, Wednesday. Um, I have a box of matches. <clears throat> My stepdad used to have a song that he sang. <clears throat> I'll try to do it for you. I don't need to drink water first. It was about matches. And he said, Matches, matches, M-A-T-C-H-E-S. Matches, matches, M-A-T-C-H-E-S. You can strike them on the sidewalk, you can strike them on the grass. Just be really careful when you strike them on your ashtray, ashtray, A-S-H-T-R-A-Y. <laughs> so, we have a purple candle. And, um, I wonder if you can see it better. There. Oh, it doesn't really show. <laughs> Tonight in meditation, I thought we would bring in a candle. And the candles will sit a little lower. I'll sit a little lower on the table so that we can focus our gaze on the flame. Oh, wow, look at what that does to the... <laughs> it's not fairy orbs. It is the candle. Okay, so anyway. Let me turn this one back on too. Oof, there we go. So, <laughs> I thought maybe tonight for meditation we would do um, something with a candle where you let your gaze soften on just the flame. And, I don't know, that's as far as I got. <laughs> We're having a birthday party of sorts. Um, one of my associates, it's her birthday today. So, <clears throat> we're having cupcakes and somebody might bring in balloons. Just a fun little something because it's meditation and she's here and it's her birthday so. But it is a full house and uh, Wednesday meditations are full so I have to start telling people to um, to come on Thursdays if they want. And then I see other shops sometimes have um, like a daytime meditation. And that might be an option. I would be, once I go full time down here, that would be kind of nice. A daytime meditation, daytime meetings, daytime classes. I'm not really sure how I'm going to work out the logistics of like when I'm down here, how many hours, what I'm doing. Um, you because know, I don't want to be down here from 9 in the morning till 8 at night. And I'm sorry, I'm set up with, uh, I'm, I'm set up with nighttime things. So I could just do appointments during the day. I could move stuff. There's so many options. There's so many options I can do. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm, I'm already starting to play around with the, cal the calendar a little bit to see, you know, different things that I could do. Oh, it's cold in here. Um, there is no heat in my office. There's no ductwork, no 
like electric baseboard heater and I don't have like a space heater in here. I really don't have, um, well now that we built more shelves over here, and they go all the way up, um, I my floor is clear again and that's nice. Um, but, you know, not, I don't want to start cluttering it up, not even for a space heater, I'd rather just get one of those little lap blankets and, uh, and stay warm that way. Um, most of the time I'm not in here. I'm creating and if it's really cold I'll be creating at the table in the classroom area where it's a little bit warmer. And yeah, so today, today it started out really awesome. <clears throat> Sorry. Today started out really awesome. I had um, woken up, and it's nice because the uh, the sun is starting to shine when I have to wake up, and that really makes it easier to wake up then. These sticks. Fairy Dreams, it's called. And, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I woke up in the sky. It was a really, really, really beautiful blue. And, and then when I went to work, my full time job, my full time day job, I don't know how we're going to see Archimedes now, but I got this. Um, I'm just going to snuff it out. <laughs> yeah, I'll clear that out. That's fine. I don't want everybody to think that it was smoke and not Archimedes making an appearance. Archimedes is the uh, resident house fairy. So anyway, the sky was beautiful. Beautiful blue. And out my bathroom window, it's really super tall pine trees, and then there's snow on the branches, and then that brilliant blue. So it was just, it looked like a puzzle of peace. It was, the colors were amazing, contrast against each other. And then on the way, the way to work, I drove through a sun dog, and it was huge. And um, I drove right through it. That was kind of fun. And the work was fun. I, uh, there's a lot of laughter today with me and my three co-workers that were there. And all the um, people that called in were really nice. So that was, that's always helpful when people are nice, when they call in and they're not yelling at you because you're not open yet. So, anyway. And then, yeah, I got home to a few different um, challenges as a mother of adults and um, it always puts a different spin on things and I am a different person now than I was five years ago last year I'm a di way different person than I was last year even um and so I, I tend to handle things with more calm, um, taking a deep breath before I speak, not all the times. Sometimes that temper slips off, but just trying to always understand why people are acting the way that they act. And, uh, Hmm. Yeah, and then I, I kind of wish there was a way that I could, it's just training, you know, but I wish there was a way that I could get Sam down here, Sammy, keep him with me while I'm down here. He's hypoallergenic, so I don't have to worry about that. He doesn't shed, I don't have to worry about that. But he's a boy, and I've not had a boy dog since farm days, 
So he's a leg lifter. And, you know, sometimes he'll... Like the last time I brought him down here, I had a curtain hanging, dividing one room from the other. A little shit had he walked right over, sniffed, lifted his leg. And I'm like, mm, stop, stop, stop. Took him outside, but, you know, by then, it was too late because he already piddled. And he's a Bichon, so he's stubborn, a stubborn trainer. And, uh, yeah, but I, I just wish there was a way that I could take more. There is a way. There is a way, and that way will come in July and August, where I will be able to take more time to train him for being a shop dog down here, and um, more walks with him, more training with him, having him down here. And, um, I think the, the place that I got him from, when I got him, he was very afraid of everything. Loud noises, big boots, men, men voices. Um, so I don't think his puppy, early puppy years were, early puppy months were very good for him. Um, I can't prove any of that. It's just, you know... You know how a dog is skittish over certain things, and you've never done anything to make him skittish that way. You know it comes from the previous people. So something happened with Sammy when he was, oh, just a wee little babe. And he was taken away from his mama way too soon. So this summer, I'll have more time for training him to be a shop dog, and uh, getting his scared bark under control. Um, the first time we tried to use any kind of, it was a buzzy collar, it just buzzed, and he was so terrified, um, he was trying to run away from it, and then he'd bark, and then he'd try not to bark, and it would buzz, and then he was so scared, he was just tremble, 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 like shake, 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 it was terrible, so I took that off of him, and then would like have it on the couch next to him or something, just getting used to the smells, and then eventually closer, closer, and then on him, and then he was okay. And then he got used to it and didn't do any, anything to stop him. Um, but I think a regular training, you know, where I'm not, where I am the one doing the training, would be good for him with that, and then I think it would work again. Um, so anyway. I'd like to have Sammy down here with me. Um, and not even every day, but some of those really long days where he misses Mama, and I miss him. But, um, anyway, what else is going on? Well, I wish I could, like, there's a way, I suppose, where I could do this live, and I can say, oh, so what's going on with you guys? I'll have to try that sometime and see. Just tell a few close friends. Tune in so I can practice and see how this works. Going live on like YouTube or something. I know when I'm live on Facebook, the comments come in the side, the side screen, but then I have to remember to scroll so I can see everything. But Fridays, it seems, is going to be our, our live recording day of the week. So hopefully we can figure that out and have some fun with that. This whole thing is just so fun. It's just fun being down here with Facebook Live and YouTube stuff and TikTok and all the classes. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm... After certain things that happen during COVID, um, you know, you kind of realize what you want to do and what you don't want to do anymore and even before that with my surgery you know I was in a bad way and we didn't know it going in but you know I was on the table for so long waiting and, and then we needed blood transfusions there and then back in my room um, I tried to tell the nurses I, I didn't 
I didn't think I was pooping. I think it was blood. I know this is probably gross for some people, but the nurses were like, no, no, it's, it's not blood. I'm like, oh, I think it is. Finally, one nurse listened to me, but I think she only listened to me because I looked at her and I said, you know, I know you're talking, but I can't hear you. And I, I also couldn't see out of this eye and I couldn't hear out of this ear. So she knew something was wrong, and she took care of me then and, and fixed it. So more transfusions. But since all that, you know, everything I could have lost, what could have lost me, yeah, I, uh, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to July and August. So, anyway, it's a good day today, though. It's a little overcast now, so I was glad that I got to see the beautiful sky this morning. And we got some stuff put up on the website. Um, new pictures and everything. New items are listed. And, oh, sorry. And like, um, dried herbal. Let me turn this big. see it. Um, pine needles. I know. Funny, right? But, but some people need them. <laughs> Cute little sticks, all the needles fell off, but some people need them. And mm, it still smells like a forest in there. So, stuff like that. Herbs, flowers, uh, tarot kit, different things, all the different incenses. Oh, that one smells so nice. Alright. 17 minutes of just rambling of nothing. Small business day. It'll be fine. Um, I'm excited to be down here. The sky was beautiful. And now I get to work with my sister manager. <laughs> Sorry, burp on a video. <laughs> and yeah, we'll just see what the rest of the day brings. So if you watch all the time, thank you guys. And if you've watched every one, thank you. Give us a thumbs up if you can. Or, you know, don't give me a thumbs down on this one, please. <laughs> this was a heartfelt one. Um, and yeah. I'll tell you what's happening tomorrow when we chat tomorrow. So, alright guys. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.